Hello, RSU faculty. This is Troy Gerard, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the process of pairing your McGraw Hill Connect course to Blackboard. Coming up. The first thing that we want to do when pairing our course to McGraw Hill Connect is open up Blackboard and go to the course we want to pair with. The next thing is open up a new tab and log in to McGraw Hill. Once you log into McGraw Hill, you'll see a bar or a banner that says, uh, enable our new experience. McGraw Hill Connect has just released an update and I wanna share with you what it looks like in the new experience and how to deploy assignments using this new experience, okay? So select that, we'll then go back to Blackboard and we wanna locate the McGraw Hill Connect tool in our books and tools. So on the bottom left-hand side of our screen, we will select view course and institution tools. Now you see that I have Cengage and Connect in this pop-up window, but for the first time you wanna go and hit browse all course tools. The next thing that you will do, you will see McGraw Hill Education at the very center of your screen. Select that and select Connect. What this does for the very first time, it asks you, can McGraw Hill communicate with Blackboard? It's kind of an authentication thing. You've signed in uh, to Blackboard. Can we sign you into McGraw Hill uh, from here on out? You want to say yes and then log in to McGraw Hill Connect. After you've done that, you should see this screen. It says pair with a connect section. We wanna select this, and then it goes to a familiar window where it asks us, do we wanna start a new connect course or select an existing connect course? I wanna select the existing to a connect course. I already have my course built, ready to go with due dates, grades, uh, categories, that sort of thing. I wanna select this course and hit save. So just like that, our course is now paired with our McGraw-Hill Connect course. We can go to Blackboard either hitting return to Blackboard or return to Blackboard over here, but I wanna go ahead and start moving assignments over. So I'm gonna hit go to section homepage. Now, when we go to the section homepage, we will land on our new course with a new experience. And I wanna open up all the assignments. I wanna see what's going on, where my assignments are at. I have a few assignments here, chapter one overview of marketing and chapter three, digital marketing. Those are readings. We can see that from this icon. If I wanna move in these readings. I can simply select these. You can see that they have a start and end date. They don't have any points associated with them. And under this deployed category, we see none. We then wanna go to our options over here on the right and scroll down until we find deploy to Blackboard. This is going to allow us to deploy these readings to Blackboard. We then want the best grade type and hit deploy. Now, now that we're moving back into Blackboard, Blackboard says, hey, wait a second, what are these? Are they assignments? Are they readings, tests? What are they? So we wanna select them and we wanna tell it that they are homework or that they are readings with the existing category that we have in Blackboard. If we do not select a category, we can no longer move this into our gradebook. We want to be able to have these in our gradebook and select it in a category. So I'm going to make this homework, uh, the homework category I've reserved for my readings, and I hit submit. Now you're wondering, okay, we moved something in, where did it go? Since we used this books and tools link on the left, all of our content is now on the bottom of our screen. We moved in chapter one and chapter three readings. We see that the homework icon of the backpack is here. So it's in that category. We can make them visible to our students and we can move these where we want them. So chapter one, I can move to 
module one of my course. Hovering over the module, I can then move it right here up the top above the reading section. And now my students can click this link and be taken right to chapter one. If we want to move a topic or an assignment directly into our module, we can also do this by hitting the plus sign anywhere in our module and go to content marketplace. This is actually going to take us back to that main menu with all of the icons and we can navigate to our course that way. But I like to move things in on the bottom, drag and drop them where I want to go. So I simply go back to this books and tools and then now select connect at the top of this pop-up menu. Once we do that, it lands on a page where we can reset the pair. Maybe we did it wrong or we paired it to a different section. We can do that, we can sync our content. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to my connect section. And we see that we land on this page in our course again. And now we have a deployed status with the blackboard icon in our assignment overview. If I hit all assignments, we can see that the category says that it's in Blackboard. And now I wanna move these assignments over into Blackboard. These assignments, they have points associated with them, 100 points, they're just general assignments. I selected those. I go back to the settings up at the top and hit deploy to Blackboard. I want the best attempt, the best grade, the best attempt. I hit deploy. And now once again, Blackboard says, hey, what are these? You're moving them from Connect. We wanna select them. And I wanna say existing category is an assignment, right? And hit submit. After it's submitted, we can go back to the bottom of our course and we can see that they have moved in. They have the assignment icon. We can then make them visible. The other thing, uh, that I want to share with you is we can not only move these around, but they're also located now in our gradebook. We told them that these were gradable items, these assignments, our homework is a gradable item. So we can now operate in our uh, gradebook here in Blackboard, and we can move about and move these where we want them, whether it were in the grid view or the list view, we can move them, uh, sort them, and we know that the due date is set again by the McGraw-Hill Connect class, uh, and we can go through this process. The next thing that I wanna share with you is updating grades within Blackboard. Sometimes students will go and have multiple attempts in McGraw-Hill Connect, but not all of the attempts move over once they've completed it. We want to make sure that we refresh this connection throughout the semester. And how we're going to do that is go back to the Books and Tools link. And when the pop-up menu opens, just to the right of this connect, we can see that there's an arrow. And we open that arrow and find Refresh Content. When we refresh content, it brings us to a page. We can select all of the content that we want to refresh and hit submit at the bottom. What this does is it forces the system to pull in the most up-to-date grade, the most up-to-date attempt from McGraw-Hill Connect into Blackboard. Uh, so far, we've seen that students that go to the direct link within Blackboard, these links that we're moving in, they click on this chapter three, they complete it, they go back to, great, to Blackboard, it then syncs the newest grade but sometimes the students will go straight to McGraw-Hill Connect and go to that chapter, attempt that assignment, and it does not refresh that status. So we want to direct students to go to the direct link in Blackboard for this advertising sales promotion. When they click on it, it then takes them out to Blackboard, uh, I'm sorry, to Connect. They can log in, they can attempt that assignment and return to Blackboard the grade books will sync. I hope this video was helpful. If you need any additional help with your Blackboard course, 
feel free to reach out to me or go to help.blackboard.com. Thanks for watching.